Sasha here from netbooknews.com. Uh, we're still in Hannover and right now we're in the Hotel Luisenhof, a five-star hotel for five-star tech bloggers, I guess. <laughs> uh, Jack K got a fancy new device from Hanvon. Uh, we already saw um, their 10-inch Atom tablet uh, in Las Vegas uh, in January, right? So, but this one is uh, quite fast. So this is uh, running on a Celeron 743 at 1.3 gigahertz, comes with 2 gigabyte of RAM, a 320 gigabyte hard disk drive, and it's running Windows 7 Home Premium. Um, yeah, what can I tell you about the system? Well, first of all, let's take a quick look around it. There's um, the connector for the PSU. I think that's for the volume, right? Is this yeah, an, an anything up and down, you can also press. Ah, okay, there you go. This is not interesting. What about this one here? That's HDMI a out. HDMI out, of course. Um, uh, Wi-Fi power switch. Programmable buttons. Oh, that's interesting. And brightness and uh, very cool. Page. Oh yeah, actually this this one is opening the Google home page. I like this idea. Windows Media Player. Brightness up and down. Very very cool. I love this idea. There's nothing on the front. Um, on this side we have a microphone in and the headset. So this is another HDMI out? Yeah, VGA out. Dongle. Oh, VGA out. Dongle, okay, there you go. I, I haven't seen the, all the accessories. So two more USB 2.0 and a 4-in-1 card reader. And nothing on the front. Dual uh, microphone. microphone sorry, oh, here we go. That's nice. So I have stereo microphones and that's even a Kensington keylock, isn't it? Yeah. Fantastic. So, and it seems like it's kind of hard to open it. Well, four screws, right? But <laughs> these look like... I, I, I have no clue about the name in German. We call Torx. it Inbus. What's the name? Torx screws. Torx screws, okay. Oh yeah, absolutely. Torx. Totally. Okay, let's take a quick look around the system. Um, no, not around the system, but I would like to show you how snappy it works. Um, JKK, okay, we're just going to your, to your homepage. How about that? Um, here's the keyboard. Come on. <laughs> here we go. So it's JKK Mobile. Let's go to your website just to show people how snappy it is. Right? And we are on 3G now, so. Yeah, this is running on 3G. Uh, we're using here the little MiFi. Thanks, MiFi. And Novatel for the support. We love you guys. On a Vodafone network. Now look at this. That's pretty cool, right? And I like this little effect, right? When, you, when, you, when you're getting to the bottom, and you can't scroll any further, look how the whole window is moving. So that's pretty decent, so you always know when you reach the end. Here we go. The same. So, and of course, how about performance in terms of um, video playback? Um, there should be, oh, here's the Coral Reef. This is running 1080p now. So, WMV 1080p clip, you know, absolutely smooth like silk. Um, battery life, good question. We haven't tested that one so far. I would expect like three to four hours, something like that, if you're always running on full speed, right? And um, weight, I would say like. 1.1 kilogram, 1.2 kilogram. I have to admit, I love the build quality of it. it. It's a gorgeous device. It even has a webcam. It can do multitasking, can do flash, you know. Um, all these little features. Um, this tablet with the fruit on top of it can't do. And <coughs> vegetable. The vegetable. <laughs> well, Jackie K is always calling it a vegetable. Um, yeah, I love the build quality. You know, there's actually one thing that is a little bit annoying to me. I think I think the glass in, in front of the screen, it's very glossy. It is really very glossy. It's a fingerprint magnet, but um, besides that, this is a fantastic device for um, couch surfing, right? Even running multimedia on there in all resolutions. And yeah, really, really cool tablet. And I think just a new benchmark for Windows 7 tablets in general. We haven't seen anything uh, like this before. That's a new hand one. Doesn't even have a product name. Yeah. Uh, Check it, okay. Come on, you need to know that. 
it's the hand one tablet with a cello on touchpad the hand one touchpad and it should be available in the market soon yeah and one month. Uh, um, the price for it will be roughly around up from 500 euros okay starting from 500 euros so very decent device as I said you know my personal favorite uh, from this year's CBIT 2010 uh, in terms of tablets and in terms of tablets that are running Windows. Um, this is Sasha for NetworkNews.com. Thanks for watching.